Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to build the modules and kernel on board the Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. Because space is at a premium during this build, I recommend that you build the kernel directly after flashing. The Jetson here has just been flashed with L4T 28.2 using Jetpack 3.2. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Jetson TX1 Kernel. One thing I want to discuss before we get too far is the releases. The releases are here. For each one of the versions, we have a release for 28.2, 28.1, some of the older releases. It is important that the kernel sources match the L4T release. Some people build out of the master branch and that's usually not a good idea. Go over to the releases and find the correct one. The master usually just points at the latest version of L4T. Let's clone that repository. We'll grab the address. Let's switch over to the repository directory. The first step is to get the kernel sources. There are two convenient scripts to help us. The first script, get kernel sources, will get the kernel sources and open up a graphical editor on the configuration. The second script is called get kernel sources, no GUI, 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 which will simply download the kernel sources. Let's get the kernel sources. Here's our kernel configuration editor. Let's set it up. Let's configure our kernel. Let's look up the stock local version, uname minus R. The release is 4.4.38 and the local version is minus Tegra. If you want to build a stock kernel, then minus Tegra is the local version number. Go to General Setup, Local Version. In this case, I'd like to name it something different. I will call it JetsonBot, version 0 0.1. So it should show up right here. Then you're ready to edit the modules. I'm going to look up CH341. There it is. I'm going to click it once to make it a module. You have two choices. This little circle indicates that it will be a module when it's built. If you click it twice, you will get a check mark, which means it will be built into the kernel image. So we will make it a little dot. This is a single port serial driver. It's frequently used with Arduinos. Let's save this. Close it. We'll close this little baby. And now we are ready to make the kernel. Okay, we've finished building the kernel. You can see that we got a little pop-up here. 
Let's take a look and see how much room we have left. So you can see that we have a little bit of room, 405 megabytes, but that's not very much. So let's dismiss that. Let's open up a new terminal. Everything that we built is in slash user slash source. It includes the kernel here, hardware, and the TX1 sources. We will eventually want to get rid of these. Most people will store them off board on a USB stick or on SSD or whatever. But before we do that, we need to make a copy of our kernel and that's stored in slash boot. Here's the old image. You will probably want to make a copy of, of the image. We're in a system directory, so we have to use sudo. And then for safety's sake, what you would probably do is switch over to XT Linux and modify the ext linux dot configuration. Again, use sudo. Make a copy of this. Rename this one. What this allows you to do is boot from either the new image that we're, we are about to copy or to use the original image. You do that through the serial console. So let's save this. Close this up. Let's copy over our image. and we should be ready to rock and roll. There's also a script file to help us remove the hardware kernel and compress sources. So we will run that. So you can see that we freed up five gig here, four and a half gig or whatever. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's reboot. Let's take a look at our release. You name minus R. There it is, Jetson bot. So that's how you go about building the kernel and the modules on board the Jetson. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.